Hello my dear students, welcome to the MS Science Academy. Myself, Minu Srivastava and today we are going to discuss about the uh, synthesis about uh, synthesis of palmitic acid or we can say synthesis of fatty acid. So why uh, the one question uh, should arise in your mind every time the beta oxidation about the palmitic acid, the synthesis about the palmitic acid because the answer is the palmitic acid is the most common fatty acid which is synthesized in our body. Okay, so here without wasting time, now we will discuss about the synthesis of palmitic acid. So here the site, the site where the synthesis takes place here the liver, kidney, adipose tissue, lungs, lactating, mammary glands. Okay, so and the cell, in the cell cytosol is the main place where this synthesis take place. Okay, here the requirement, the basic requirement is that NADPH and the acetyl coenzyme A. The stages, the stages first stage, there are the three stages are, but uh, now we will discuss about the first stage, the transport of acetyl coenzyme A. So here we know that in the glycolysis, the glucose is converted into the pyruvic acid or pyruvate. Okay, glucose is converted into the pyruvate in the glycolysis. So this pyruvate, pyruvate is convert into the acetyl coenzyme A okay not in the cytosol in the mitochondrial matrix mitochondrial matrix okay so here in the mitochondrial matrix the pyruvate is converted into the acetyl coenzyme A with the help of pyruvate dehydrogenase pyruvate p dot means pyruvate dehydro Genase, okay, pyruvate dehydrogenase. Okay, now this acetyl coenzyme A just is, uh, but the problem is that this acetyl coenzyme A is uh, impermeable for the mitochondrial membrane. So here the acetyl coenzyme A have to go into the cytosol. But how? Let's see. The pyruvate is convert. There's one reaction, the pyruvate is converted into the acetyl coenzyme A. Same the other, another reaction in which the pyruvate is converted into the oxaloacetic acid or oxaloacetate with the help of pyruvate carboxylase. Pyruvate carboxylase. Pyruvate carboxylase. In the mitochondrial membrane itself, in the mitochondrial matrix itself, okay not membrane, it's a mitochondrial matrix itself. So, so both this oxaloacetate and this acetyl coenzyme A just combine, just combine and form the citrate, form the citrate. As in the TCA cycle, I think it's very clear about in the TCA cycle that acetyl coenzyme and oxaloacetic acid just form the citric acid or citrate. Okay, this citrate is easily permeable to the mitochondrial membrane so it goes into the cytosol <coughs> and in the cit uh, in the cytosol the citrate is converted again into the oxaloacetate or oxaloacetic acid and just released out this acetyl coenzyme A acetyl coenzyme A this oxaloacetate is converted in the cytosol itself into the malate into the malate into the malate okay now here this malate with the help of malate dehydrogenase the enzyme is malate dehydrogenase okay so this malate is convert into the pyruvic acid into the pyruvic acid or we can say the pyruvate with the help of malic enzyme malic enzyme with and during this process they release the nadph they release the nadp H. Okay, so this is the uh, how the acetyl coenzyme is formed and transport. The acetyl coenzyme is formed into the mitochondrial matrix and just released with the help of or by the formation of citrate. And the citrate, when released out from the mitochondria and in the cytosol, it convert into the oxaloacetate by releasing the acetyl coenzyme A. And this oxaloacetate again convert into the pyruvate during the uh, via the malate, and again it release the NADPH, which is the primary requirement. Okay, so the requirement of the fatty acid synthesis that is the acetyl coenzyme A and second is the NADPH. Now you can understood that how the acetyl coenzyme A and NADPH is formed. 
Now here the first step completed the transport of acetyl acetylcoenzyme A. Then the second step is the activation of activation of acetylcoenzyme A. Acetyl coenzyme A. Here the acetyl coenzyme A is convert into the malonyl coenzyme A. Here the acetyl coenzyme A. Here the acetyl coenzyme A is convert into the malonyl coenzyme A with the help of acetyl coenzyme A carboxylase. Acetyl coenzyme A carboxylase. Here the acetyl uh, that malonyl coenzyme A here. CH2 C double bond O sorry coenzyme A. This is the malonyl coenzyme A. Okay, so here the COH CH2 uh, C double bond O SCO. This is the malonyl coenzyme A, and during this reaction, the CO2 is released out. That's why it's named as the uh, decar uh, acetyl coenzyme A uh, carboxylase because the car uh, decarboxylase. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's a CO2 is released and that ADP is formed. ADP is formed by ATP. Okay. So, this malonyl coenzyme A now just add the carbon number. Okay. In the fatty acid synthase complex. Now, the th in the third step, the proper synthesis. The proper synthesis. Okay, so in the proper synthesis, we will discuss about the fatty acid synthase complex, how add the carbon chains to form the complete palmitic acid, which is the C16S32O2. Okay, so now we will discuss about the proper synthesis process. Now come to the proper reaction part. Okay, so in this proper reaction, the fatty acid synthase complex, which is the multi enzyme complex system is involved in this reaction. This multi enzyme complex is having uh, around seven enzyme in each subunit. It is having around two subunits. Okay, so like cysteine and acyl carrier protein, two subunits here are representing, and each subunit having or car carry the seven enzyme. Okay, that's why it is known as the multifunctional enzyme or multi complex enzyme. You can say here in the uh, CYS represent the cysteine, which is represent the amino acid, and is the acyl carrier protein which carry the acyl group. Okay, so here the first in the first reaction the acetyl coenzyme A CS3 C double bond O S C O A and it means it's a, a, a acetyl coenzyme A the, in the presence of trans acylase it this acetyl group CS3 C O group is transferred towards the acyl carrier protein subunit. Okay, so here this acyl carrier proteins just uh, carry the acetyl group the acetyl group formula this is the CS3 C O. Okay, so this is the acetyl trans uh, acetyl coenzyme trans acylase just transfer this acetyl group. Okay, now this acetyl subunit transfer to the cysteine. I have written here also the transfer acetyl to the cysteine. This acetyl group is transferred to the cysteine side. Okay, now again the malonyl coenzyme come into the reaction where we have to just produce the malonyl after the activation of the acetyl coenzyme A. In just now we have studied that the acetyl coenzyme A activated into the malonyl coenzyme A. Okay, so here the malonyl coenzyme A transacylase, this enzyme is also the part of the fatty acid synthase complex. Okay, so this with the help of this uh, enzyme uh, here, the uh, this is the formula that is the COH, CH2, CO, SCO. This malonyl coenzyme, the malonyl group, the malonyl group is transferred towards the acyl group, okay, acyl carrier protein group, okay. So, uh, just uh, by different, uh, uh, I want to differentiate the carbon of malonyl carbon and the acetyl carbon, that's why here acetyl carbon, I am just drawing that with the black pen and just malonyl carbon, I am drawing with the green pen, pen. okay. So, here the co and the uh, coenzyme A group just released out and this malonyl group is transferred towards the acyl carrier protein subunit here now this uh, uh, this is this is the second reaction in the third reaction the co2 the co2 which is present in the uh, uh, malonyl group this co2 is released with the help of beta keto acyl synthase 
Why it's named as a beta keto acyl synthase? Because on the beta carbon, the ketone group is formed. Okay, so the keto is uh, by releasing the CO2, the keto group is attached with this beta carbon position. That's why it is named as the beta keto acyl synthase. Now, here again, the beta keto acyl just reduction the reduction of the beta keto as beta keto group takes place here the beta keto acyl reductase enzyme just mediate this reaction and the keto group just re reduce into the methyl group okay so this ketone group is trans is just re reduced into the methyl group and in this reaction the hydrogen is donated with the help of nadph and this nadph is, is converted into the nadp now the cysteine now in the fifth reaction the water is released the water is released from here this is the OH and this is the hydrogen which is present on the carbon so here the water is released with the help of beta hydroxy acyl dehydratase okay so by releasing this water the double bonded is double bond is formed okay so here uh, again I am just uh, uh, re uh, reminding you that the green color carbon comes from the melonyl carbon and beside the green color carbon chain the two carbon chain which is present comes from the acetyl coenzyme a okay so here the beta keto acyl reductase just reduce uh, 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 just remove the water molecule and form the double bond now this double bond is reduced into the methyl group with the help of enoyl acyl carrier protein reductase enoyl acyl carrier protein why it is named as the because uh, this reductase enzyme work on the acyl carrier protein subunit so here the double bond is reduced into the ch2 and the in the during the reduction the nadph is converted into the nadp now here this uh, uh, this complete carbon chain shifted towards the cysteine here in the sixth reaction the sixth uh, in the sixth reaction this carbon chain is transferred to the cysteine that s c double bond of ch2 ch2 ch3 and that sulfhydryl group and this complete transfer to the cysteine group now just i want to remind you that in the palmitic acid as the formula just we have studied just in the yesterday lecture that that the formula of the palmitic acid is the c16 s32 and the o2 okay so here again the two carbon come from the melonyl and the two carbon comes from the acetyl so here the two carbons comes from the melonyl so uh, if we want to form or if we want to synthesize the palmitic acid the palmitic acid contain the 16 carbon so we have to repeat this reaction reaction two to six reactions uh, reactions we have to repeat so many times not so many times it's just according to the numbers of the carbon which we want to add for the formation of the fatty acid so here uh, if in the one reaction if in the one reaction if in the one cycle of the reaction two carbon is added so in if you want to add the 14 carbon now the question should arise in your mind why it's a 14 carbon why it's not the 16 carbon because the two carbon comes already from the acetyl coenzyme so we have to detect the two carbon so here the two carbon less so the 14 carbon we have to add so in the one one cycle the two carbon is added so in the seven cycle the 17 carbons uh, sorry 14 carbons is added okay so here uh, now that uh, 16 this complete subunit is again transferred to the acyl carrier protein why it happens because the palmitoyl thioesterase just only work on the acyl carrier protein subunits now the 16 as the 13 carbons is added continuously with the help of repeating these reactions so again this uh, complete chain when uh, the complete carbon number will uh, complete okay or will uh, uh, just complete the carbon number chain now this palmitoyl thioester just remove this reaction remove this carbon chain and just fatty acid synthase complex is removed okay so here 13 14 15 and 16 so palmitoyl acid palmitic acid is uh, uh, c16 f32 and that is the o2 this is the palmitic acid we have formed we have formed with the help of this this fatty acid synthase complex which is a multifunctional enzyme and i think it's a great enzyme okay so this is the complete reaction of the fatty acid synthase okay fatty acid uh, synthesis is a palmitic acid okay i hope you have enjoyed my lecture any doubt kindly ask in the comment section otherwise 
प्लीज़ लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू